welcome back to my channel so in today's video I am going to be sharing with you guys my everyday natural glam makeup routine now let me just say that I don't do this every day okay there's no just no time no it's just not realistic but if I were to do natural glam every day this is what it would be natural glam for me really is just a light lip light everything and just super effortless look if you have acne or problematic skin or blemishes i'm going to show you how i cover mine up because i do have quite a bit my skin has kind of been on a journey of recovery and healing and i'm not quite there yet so in this stage of life that i'm in with my skin i'm making it super deep it's not that deep but in this stage of the process i want to show you guys how i do natural glam i hope you guys are excited so if you are don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's get on with the makeup tutorial so I'm just gonna go ahead and start off by moisturizing my skin I'm using the Tatcha water cream this is a travel size and I've been using it for some time now the travel size has actually lasted me some time because a little bit of this goes a really long way but if you have acne skin or oily skin this is a perfect moisturizer because it's not heavy duty and so it really allows for a nice moisturized um, skin for foundation so that's why I love it it literally feels so lightweight like I don't know I just feel like it does its job and it goes away I already did my brows because my brows take the eva. so I just like to work that into my skin and really make sure that it's just you know all up in there the next thing that I like to use is the botanic farms soft cover pore balm primer i can never get it right because it's so long but this is basically a primer for your pores if you have a lot of pores this is definitely a primer that really seeps in and seals those pores and makes sure that nothing gets in there so i basically like used all of it. it literally feels like another layer of skin is going onto my pores because it's literally like closing them up and just creating a smooth canvas before going in with foundation i like going in with the mac strobe cream just in the areas that i didn't apply the primer because if i place in the areas where i applied the primer then it gets a little bit like weird mix i just like applying this in the areas that i want to be a little bit more glowy so i'm just applying this in the areas that i did not apply the other primer now that i feel like my skin is all nice and moisturized and we have a nice base i like to go into foundation and the foundation that i use every day is the makeup forever hd foundation this is the ultra hd foundation stick i know y'all are like you're crazy for using that every day so my skin as you can tell has a lot of blemishes from acne scars i have no active breakouts right now just blemishes so this foundation gives me a really really nice coverage and for some reason i know that it's hd and like known for hd and you know like lots of coverage but it does not feel cakey on me ever and i'll tell you the trick in a minute but that's the foundation i like to use every day it works for my skin doesn't break me out because i wash my face well every day or i cleanse my face well i like to go in with my sigma hd kabuki this is the brush i like to use i just buff it into my skin So once I blend all of that out with my brush, I like to go in with my pure, I don't know if it's pure or pur, but I like to go in with a beauty blender to really just make sure that everything is nice and blended out. And this is damp because if it's too wet, it's just going to pick all the product up. But I like to keep it nice and damp. If I need any extra coverage, then I'll go ahead and go in with another light layer. But I like to just leave it like that. Looks nice and fresh. So I'm going to go in with my Naked Skin Concealer. And this is in the shade Light. So I'm just going to place this under the eyes. I'm not highlighting or anything like that. I'm literally just concealing my under eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with my sponge. So to set the under eyes, I'm using my Cover FX Loose Powder, and this is in Translucent. Translucent. <laughs> um, it has no color, but it has lots of coverage, so that's what I love. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that set lightly under my eyes, and now I'm going to move into literally my favorite part and step of my everyday glam. This is 
my new holy grail product this is the sephora micro smooth powder in light this literally is the best setting powder out there i have tried so many setting powders i've tried maybelline mac foundation setting powders i've tried other sephora brands i've tried the airspun loose powder and this is literally the best powder ever it literally smooths your skin and if you have acne scars and you have like for example for me i have a little bit of indents in here and scarring that like goes deep into the skin and this literally makes up for whatever missing skin you have or whatever indents or things that you have it just smooths everything out and um i just love it so this is in the shade light i recently discovered this on sephora and i just love it so i just like circulating it so it really gets in there and then I pat in the areas that I need more coverage so I'll go on here you can have like a really bad base like a bad foundation application and this will literally make up for it I love that it doesn't have a lot of pigment so it doesn't make you a different color most setting powders have like a really strong foundation color so you really become that color I guess is what I'm trying to say but this color is really light um see and now I just feel complete i feel like i don't know i feel smooth and then i'm just gonna go ahead and really set in that under eye setting powder whoever invented this let me just say you were looking out for our problematic skin i feel very dry i'm not gonna lie because you set and you pounce that powder onto your face so i'm going in with my mac fix plus and i'm just gonna revive my face a little bit and just fan that into the skin so the next thing we're gonna go in with is highlighter and this hasn't changed <laughs> if you've been here on my channel for some time you know that this is my favorite highlighter of all time so this is the sleek solstice palette and I like to use this shade down here it's a champagne color and this gives me a natural glow I like to put it in all these areas to really show off that glow. All right, so just to give me some color because I look super white right now and it's just, you know, kind of like no dimension. I'm just going to go in with my Bobbi Brown powder. This is in the shade Stone Street and I'm just going to use this powder to very, very lightly just give myself some dimension in the cheek. And I'm using my Morphe M105 brush. I love the shape of this brush for for bronzing and I like blending it upwards towards the highlighter that way it doesn't look like so much powder super light and super chill and then the next thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and put on false lashes now I know okay I'm gonna be honest I don't wear false lashes every day but if you want a natural glam I honestly don't think there's such thing as glam without lashes if you find the right natural lashes so the lashes that I love that are super natural are from kiss lashes and these are in the style Daisy so these are the lashes on I know they look a little bit dramatic but it's also because they're not blended into my real lashes so what we're gonna do is apply mascara so for mascara I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal telescopic carbon black mascara and I'm just gonna apply that to the top and bottom lashes so we're just gonna go ahead and apply some to our top lashes first and it's just to coat and really blend it in so you don't want to apply them too far up in the false lash all right i'm going to be going in with my favorite everyday lipstick and this is the vice liquid lipstick from umber decay in the shade 1993 Okay, so that's just like one layer. I'm just going to go ahead and let that dry and become matte before putting the other layer on top. And I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss and Butterscotch. And I'm just going to apply that to the center part of the lips to create that ombre nude look. So you see how it like made it nude? And then I just use my hand to blend it. I, my finger to... I can't talk. Of course, the final step is setting spray. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to spray my whole face to make sure that we're nice and locked in for the day. 
All right, so that is it for my everyday natural glam. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know down below if you guys want to see more natural makeup tutorials or if you want to see more of skincare, what you want to see on this channel. And I will try my best to give it to you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know of any video suggestions down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. And this is in the shade natural. No, it's not. <laughs> Ain't nobody gets huh go in with my sigma 3 hd could be could be so this is in the shade light i res oh i'm using the wrong brush yes smooth 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 so what we're gonna do is apply mascara i just dropped my mascara 